quote of the day I will beat you I will impregnate you and nothing will happen <laughs> my dear batters come on if if I came to you on a Sunday morning and I said who do you think issued this statement you know issued this threat number one a bus conductor number two uh, an armed robber number three a Nigerian senator who would you choose I'm waiting well, if you chose number one and number two, guys, <laughs> you're wrong. I mean, the last time I checked, bus conductors don't actually talk like that. Unfortunately, number three is the correct answer. Just about like 48 hours ago or so, a Nigerian senator, a sitting Nigerian senator, Dino Melaye, issued out that exact threat to another senator, a female senator. Welcome to Akabats. So, Senator Bukola Saraki, you all know a friend of Akabats, who is, we are always talking about him here, is under trial or has been charged by the Attorney General of the Federation for forging the Senate standing rules, him and this Deputy Senate President, E.K. Ekoyeramadu. <clears throat> and I told you guys, from the time that this man has been on that, you know, uh, scrutiny and, you know, facing charges for money laundering and falsification of uh, assets, Senator Dino Melaye has been the, one of the senators that have been fighting Bukola Saraki's battle. I, I get to, I hear that they are best friends. A group of senators think that the presidency and the executive are targeting the Senate president. And then, so Dino Melaye is heading the band that is saying that senators should come together and stand against the executive. So the, uh, he's encouraging the legislature to stand against the presidency, the executive arm, so that there will be no movement in Nigeria until charges are dropped against Bukola Saraki. Now, in this Senate meeting, he said all this. And then, Remy Tunubu stood up, Senator Remy Tunubu, and said, please, you will not reduce the Senate to kindergarten. And you cannot be I, uh, uh, issuing out idle threats because I heard, and it's in the news, that Dino Melaye actually threatened 10 senators. I said he will kill anybody or any senator who does not withdraw their name from the court to appear as witnesses. To stand against Bukola Saraki, saying that anyone who does not withdraw their names will be um, sanctioned. This man also recommended that the Attorney General of the Federation should come to the Senate for the Senate to embarrass him and strip him of honor. That they should embarrass him because he's charging the Senate President with these, you know, false accusations. Now, after Ramin Tinubu said this, this man stood up and said, I will beat you up on this floor, impregnate you, and nothing will happen. Let me first comment on the fact that it is abhorring for a senator to be having these thoughts. And these are the kind of, you know, discussions that our senators are having right now at this state in where Nigeria is now, at this state of emergency where our country's economy is sinking, there literally is no saving grace for this country now, except we begin to work now to bring up something that will save us in a few years' time. These guys are still talking about how to increase allowances, how to get more cars, how to marry 12-year-old children, and then how to impregnate each other. Now, the tactlessness, the vileness of the whole situation, of how a man can talk to a woman that way, no tact, no restraint, to talk to a woman, a colleague, a married woman, and then one that is married to Tinubu. Now, let me, let me tell you, I'm not a big fan of Tinubu. I'm not pro-APC, I'm not pro-PDP, I'm not partisan. I only just go in there and do what's right. 
But I have to say that Dino Melahi has never does. He has not achieved half of a quarter of what Tinubu has achieved in this country, in this state, Nigeria. For his people, no. That in Dino Melahi's entire life, he has not achieved a fraction of what Tinubu has achieved. Okay, so guys, I looked into this man's Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. His Wikipedia is as scandalous as the man himself. <laughs> Let me tell you, from his political life, it's so evident that it was an intern in maybe Kogi in the office that wrote this biography for him. Self written, no references. Now, past political life, career, they literally wrote no career. Dino was elected member of House of Representatives from Kaba, Bunu, Ijumu Federal Constituency, and Chairman Information and National Orientation started self sponsoring himself at a young age. The Ibo is on Wikipedia. Then, let's look at leadership style. They literally is going to leadership style here. All awards of different, that's different awards we've never heard of. Let me give them to you. <laughs> Best Honorable Representative of the Year, of the Year, by Global Youth Awareness. Protector of the Youth. Epitome of Servant by National Association of Kogi. Youth Libra for Award by the Visioners Club. Great Motivator of Students. Icon of Good Scholarship by Kogi People's Forum. <laughs> That's his leadership style. Literally go on Wikipedia, guys. Please, banters, go on this guy's Wikipedia and search. Read it. Now, I want to note that this is the guy who supported the social media bill. That's the people that are fighting against social media. But in Wikipedia, they wrote that he's this protector of students. The Best Honorable Representative Award by Prestigious Years of Service, Protector of Youth, Epitome of Servants, Great Motivator of Students, this same man. Now, guys, this is a country that has 60 that is that has 60 percent of its population as youth, as young people under 25. Am I right? Under 25, 60%. And we are sitting down to allow this. To the fact that other female senators did not even stand up against this. I'm shocked. Nobody has come out to make this man an example and tell him to pay for this mistake. I don't even care where he's coming, whether APC. He's actually APC, but I don't care. That's what the senators should be talking about now is how to save Nigeria from dying, from going under. Oil, that's, there's no hope for our oil. I mean, Iran has not even put oil in the market. If they do, oil will drop to $2 a barrel. In fact, nobody will buy our oil. My friend just told me that we are the third largest, you know, exporter of ginger. Who? Get an intel from Harvard. We will not pay you, but we will make sure that you're fine. We will keep you here. In turn with us. Let us get these statistics and facts and see what we can do to make sure we are not bound one. Because if we don't have dollars in this country, it's over. Guys, people are losing jobs every day. Give every state something to do. Ginger, Imo state, call Imo, Ginger state. Begin to one agenda. Another state, another agenda. Another state, another agenda. Begin to fight. That's fight to save this nation. Do you know? Are you if are you a milf? Are you a milf hunter? That's uh, do what's your own with women? The last time that a senator was saying that we should buy Nigeria, this man got to say that we should also talk to those governors that are marrying women from abroad that they should mar buy Nigeria, marry Nigerian women. What's your own with women? I mean, this man has no honor shamelessly and vehemently standing for evil and corruption. He's abusive. He is, he, he is slimy. He's a rogue. He's distasteful. He's arrogant. He's, he's, he has loose morals. This man literally took dollars and went on him when he was going to meant to follow Senate President for UN, UN meeting. Went to start removing tattoo.
Where is Sandra? Hmm? He went to remove tattoo. He went to remove tattoo now. <laughs> Removing tattoo. During official work that we're made to go for United Nations meeting. Ah uh ah. -uh. You know what? With all due respect, I have to. I have to. Guys, we, we. The youth. Guys, banters. Everybody, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. Under 25s, under 30s. We need to wake up. We cannot allow this to continue. We cannot allow this to go on. I also want to recommend that the Ethics Committee in the Senate. This is the kind of things that you guys are there for. Please treat this seriously. Dino Melaye should be penalized. And the Senate, that this man has, has embarrassed the Senate enough. This man has tainted the image of the Senate enough. Please, for our sake, for the sake of the young ones that are seeing what's happening there, just to save face, even if you don't mean it, deal with this issue deal with this man and make him an example the senate should be a place of honor repute dino melayi reminds me of a creepy ong specialist and this has to be that it has to be true i mean this the same senate where senators go abroad and then the u.s ambassador is sending messages to us that they were sexually harassing women at the hotel Staff, and in this same Senate, the Ethics Committee says that they will be suspended for three months. Suspended for six months. What suspension? That's your solution. We can't allow this. We need to move forward. I have work to do, man. Bye, guys.